just can't find it. Yet. <laughs> hey, I've never seen a butterfly like that before. got to get a picture. There's no film in the camera. Don't bother me now, Kiwi. <laughs> Mr. Koala, wait till I put this film in the camera. You mean there's no film in the camera? I was just about to do it. Kiwi, you made me miss a shot of a rare species of butterfly. That's terrible. Mm -hmm. well, that butterfly's not in this book either. Yes, I think I've discovered a new butterfly. Oh, wow. Mr. Koala, that means you'll be famous. Oh, boy. That's big news. Hmm. Does that look about right? Yes, that's good. But didn't it have long projections from the bottom of its yes. wings? A kind of like this. Sensational news! Mr. Koala has discovered a new species of butterfly! Sensational discovery by Mr. Koala! Yes, that's true. A sensational discovery. I can't find it in any of my books, so it must be a new species. But, Papa, are you sure it's really a new kind of butterfly? I've never seen one like this before. Huh? Well, maybe you just saw this in a dream. No, really, Miss Lewis, believe me, that was no dream. I saw it with my own eyes. And Kiwi saw it too, didn't you? Uh-huh. I want a story about it. And I can't write a story about a drawing. I need proof. It would make a great story if you could just get a picture of it for me. Yes. I'll get a picture for you first thing tomorrow. Mommy, would you make me a lunch basket? I'm off. Where are you going, dear? Why, up on the mountain to get a picture of that butterfly. Is it safe up there? I'll be just fine. I'm going to get that picture somehow. Huh? Wait for me, Mr. Koala. Sure. No thanks, Kiwi. You just bungle it like the last time. I'm gonna go with you anyway. This time I promise I'll have everything ready. No. Go back. Oh. Shucks. Look, isn't that Kiwi? Yeah, that's him, but he looks awfully sad. What's the matter, Kiwi? I thought you were going up on the mountain today to help Papa. Yes, I wanted to go, and I asked Mr. Koala to take me. But he said no. He said I just bungled things again. Papa's like that. He always wants to do everything his own way. Why don't we take Kiwi and go look for that butterfly ourselves? Yeah, maybe we'll find it before Papa does. Sure, then Mr. Koala won't be mad at Kiwi anymore. That butterfly has got to be up there somewhere. All we have to do is find it. That's great. Thank you. That's fine. We'll all meet right here tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Okay. okay. I haven't found it, and I'm tired. No. Those dark mosquitoes, they won't let me sleep. My net, Rubear. And you broke my butterfly cage. Please remember, we're not going up there to catch the butterfly. No, we just want to find out where the butterfly lives. 
Then we bring Papa to take pictures of it. Isn't that our plan? Oh. Sounds like fun. Let's go. That's right. Let's go. <laughs> oh, no. I mustn't go to sleep. Sorry, Kiwi. You tripped over Walter's boomerang. I wonder how it got up here. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Oh, there it is. Wow, I'll get a picture now. Oh, don't just fly away. Please, come back. Oh, butterfly, wait! Hmm, there's lots of them. Yeah, it was right here. Butterflies! Like that, Kiwi? No. The butterfly we saw was a lot prettier than those. Keep looking. Oh, here comes Walter. Oh, that butterfly that Colt's got in his cage. I'm sure that's the one we saw. Oh. Hi, did you come up here for a picnic? Hey, Walter, what a nice butterfly. Yeah, isn't that a beauty? We found it not very far from here and Colt caught it. Would you please let me have the butterfly, Walter? Not a chance. Let's go. Uh -oh. Wait. Just a second, Walter. Would you trade it for this? Oh, that's my special boomerang you've got. All right, Colt. Give that butterfly to Kiwi. Oh. Uh. Oh. I've been looking for this for a long time. It's the best. Oh, shucks. Come on, let's go. I got the butterfly. So we're all set now. Do you think it's the same one that Papa found? It's so pretty. Now, Kiwi, let's find Papa and we'll give him the butterfly. I don't want to just hand it to him. I want Mr. Koala to be the one that discovers this butterfly. Why, Kiwi? Well, it's true that Mr. Koala first discovered this new butterfly, but then I bungled it. Sure, we'll just let the butterfly go free close to Mr. Koala. Oh, is that all right for you, Kiwi? Mm-hmm. Why, there he is now. Mr. Koala, the film you wanted. Oh, well, thank you, Kiwi. It's lucky you dropped by. I don't know what I'd do without you. Oh. Your pictures 
are superb, Mr. Koala. Amazing. I'm glad you managed to find so many butterflies. And in view of the fact that you discovered them all by yourself, we're going to name the species after you. It will be known as the koala butterfly. Congratulations, Mr. Koala, and what a great story this will be in my magazine. The Book of Insects Around the World now contains pictures of both your butterfly and you.